every FL Studio user has the secret sauce, the soft clip plugin. Many producers use this plugin to get a harder hitting beat. And why not? It works, it's free in FL Studio. But today, I think it's about that time that you stop using the FL Studio soft clip plugin. And let me show you why. Comment down below your two favorite music genres to make for music production. And if you do comment, you'll be entering a giveaway for the Kali Audio INUNFs, which are some great budget studio monitors to help you with your music creation needs. Make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button to join the giveaway. What's poppin' gang? I'm 30 Killer Beats, and today we're gonna be talking about why you should stop using the FL Studio Soft Clipper. With this video, I'm not necessarily saying the Soft Clipper in FL Studio is a bad plugin. By all means, if you just love using it and you don't wanna use anything else, you're still gonna have great results by using it. But in this video, we're gonna show you that there are some other options, some other plugins that'll help you get the same result or if not better. Most DAWs don't have a soft clipper plugin like FL Studios and honestly, I was one of those guys in FL Studios like, yes, this right here is way better. I wish every DAW had this plugin. Let me show you why you should not be using this plugin at all. There are different plugins that you could be using and that's just the, the main fact. From paid to even free plugins that you can use if you wanna use soft clipping in your beats, but still get it to hit extremely, extremely hard. If you download FL Studio, you basically will be using this soft clipper right here. Let me show you why you should stop using it. But let's start off with some free ones. There, here's one right here called Soft Limit. Now this is a free plugin that you could download today. As of right now, there is no price or anything like that. Link in the description if you wanna get your copy. This free plugin right here honestly sounds pretty much better than this FL Studio soft clipping plugin. And you can bring this over to any DAW. And this plugin here is super simple. You got your drive, you got your soft limiter, and you got your output. And this is A, B, the sound. First, let's start off with the FL Studio soft clipper, and then we're gonna move over to the soft limit. The next option you will probably come across is Standard Clip. Standard Clip is also a really great clipper plugin. I just think it sounds better than the FL Studios one. It, it, it's night and day difference. So I'm, I'm just gonna show you here, you know, I did a little bit of adjusting. I chose the Soft Clip Pro. I felt like it sounded the best with this song. And you know, you can get different types of clipping. If you want hard clipping, you want classic. This is a really great plugin and I love the way that it sounds. And this is A, B between the FL Studio soft clip. Starting with the FL Studio soft clip first. Okay, so let me know what you thought. Almost sounded like a blanket was lifted off the track. You know, if I was just sitting here making FL Studio beats and only using the Soft Clipper plugin, there's a whole lot of quality lost right there with just using the Soft Clip plugin. When I could be using these other plugins like Standard Clip to get way more quality and way more dynamics in my in my music. Now, honestly, that sounded great too. There's some other plugins that can go way beyond the price bracket of most people like Gold Clip. If, if you guys haven't heard, Gold Clip is like a really great plugin for mastering. Let's just go ahead and just compare Gold Clip, which is a $250 plugin, the Gold Clip plugin versus FL Studio Soft Clip plugin. Which one sounds better? Do you spend $250 on a clipper or do you use the software in FL Studios that you get for free? Let's start off with FL Studio.
there are so many options in the gold clip plugin like using this gold button right here which adds a little bit more low end and kind of that sub sound to your uh, music to help with the low end and if I wanted to boost the mids, I will use this uh, anatomy button right here. Uh, you can control either whether it's a classic or modern. Using the classic kind of opens up the sound a little bit. Now, if I use the modern, that kind of sounds a little bit more like the FL Studio Soft Clipper a little bit. The modern just sounds way better. It sounds more wider, just sounds bigger overall. You know, you can use hard, you can use classic in this plugin, modern. Whichever you want to use, they all sound great. And you know, you can adjust the clipping right here, boost the input and all that kind of stuff. This is a great plugin as well mainly using for mastering now overall you know in my opinion which one of all these plugins do i think sounds the best you could probably go back in the video and hear which one sounds the best if you're getting help so far go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to comment so you can enter the giveaway so far i would say after all these plugins my personal favorite is probably the, the standard clip for FO Studio. Personally, I really do love the Gold Clip plugin for mastering. I probably wouldn't use it in FL Studios for making beats, even though you know you 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 could. You know, in FL Studios, bruh, use the Gold Clip plugin. You know what I'm saying? Or you could use this free one, the Soft Limit plugin, which is the in the description down below to pick up your copy. Which honestly, I just think it just sounds better than the FL Studio Soft Clipper. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a biased opinion about FL Studio Soft Clipper? Let me know in the comments. Either way, whatever you do is going to sound great. Soft Clipper and FL Studio is not a bad plugin. It's just there are just so many other options that you can get rather for free or you can spend your money on and have a, a better result overall. Just my opinion. Real quick, I got to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, themusicgang.com. If you guys are looking for templates for your music to help you speed up the process so you can focus more on creativity, definitely check out themusicgang.com. And that's also my personal website. If you want to book me for mixing and mastering where I can run your songs through highly professional gear like the Need 1073, the SSL Fusion, and the Yesers and real compressors and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments or book me on my personal website, themusicgang.com. Also take advantage of some of our new deals where we're giving away a lot of our products at a very low rate. You know, they're basically coming in this bundle deal where you can get multiple different kits and templates to help you speed up your process, whether you're a producer or sound engineer. Let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see on this channel. Make sure you add me on Instagram, TikTok, X, and Threads. I'm on Threads, you guys. And I'm thinking about going live every Saturday. Let me know if you guys are going to show up. I'll be playing your music and stuff like that. You guys stay safe. Peace.